for uh, Rutherford County. I'm the Family Consumer Sciences agent. I also work with Misty Lane Watkins and Tiffany Schmidt, who are all FCS agents. Uh, Tiffany, I think, did a, a program recently on cooking with kids. Today, our program for the seasonal eating series at the Rutherford County Farmers Market is snap beans, or as most people know them as a
Oh, when you look for green beans, we talked. We said we're going to talk about. Uh, you want undamaged pods. So uh, if it has any insect damage, uh, you want to try to cull that out as you are going through the beans. Um, you want firm, but you want it to be snappy, not too soft, but not too. Uh, you don't want it overly mature. It talks about um, selection in your handout as far. And these are Blue Lake, and I appreciate the. Uh, the farmer's market volunteer, do you know what vendor provided these this morning? I don't remember the name, but I can point them out. Okay, okay. I like to give them a shout out on the video if, uh, you know. Actually, it was female. It was the only uh, uh -huh. I'm going to do about a half a pound. No, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and cook them all. What am I doing? Uh, all right, I have a steamer basket in, in the bottom, and I have just enough water that, uh, to a boil. You can see the steam on the bowl or on my face either way. So I'm going to steam these green beans. I need to spread them out and I'm going to put the lid back on Love that one. Um, for about, it depends how soft you want them. Some people cook their green beans in the south until they're absolutely dead and that is not one of my preferences. I like them to have a little uh, Tea, a little crunch, yeah. Thank you. So, pardon? El dente. El dente, yes, al dente. Um, <laughs> breaking my lingual on me. So, I'm going to steam them about four minutes, and then I'm going to have beans for both recipes. Um, now, you can microwave them. Super simple. I have nothing against the microwave. Busy working mom, I use my microwave. Some people do not. And, uh, You'll have to talk to those people as to why they don't use a microwave. <laughs> it's something to do with chaotic energy on a molecular level or cell structure or something. I've heard different different uh, opinions on that. But some people don't even have microwaves in their home anymore. And that is fine if that's how you want to do it. But steamed vegetables, definitely a yucky good way to get them done. So we're going to steam those about um, four minutes. And... Uh, well, we talked about preparation, and we did some of that earlier. So when you have fresh green beans from your farmer's market, you wash them, and you can leave them whole, which I prefer. However, for today, since we're doing samples, we went ahead and broke them into about one-inch pieces. So the old-fashioned way is to break them or snap them off both ends and in about that one-inch size. So you can, if they're long pieces, you can line them up and put them in your steamer, or you can uh, wrap them in a wet paper towel and steam them in your white microwave. Um, if you leave them long, they tend to keep their color a little better uh, and they, they just kind of look pretty. Uh, different varieties of beans, which you can definitely see at our market here. Um, they can be a bushy plant or a bush bean that tends to bear in a short time frame or a vining plant or a pole bean that climbs up and has to have a, they have a longer growing season. So bush beans generally are better for canning and preserving as they come in at once while the pole beans come in fewer at a time for fresh eating. So although you can use them either way. The growth habit doesn't determine the flavor or the type of bean, just the way in which it produces. So then we talk about uh, haricot verts or French beans the name is French for green bean, and I did not take French, so forgive me, my French speaking friends. Um, Blue Lake, very popular variety in this area. The variety is one of the standard bush beans, and it has cylindrical pods and tiny beans inside. Again, one of the most popular for canning. And this is a model of a serving size that kind of looks like the Blue Lake bean to me. So, and that's also that's what we're saying. This is a half cup serving size. Have a cup of vegetables. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Romano, these beans are flat, cold beans that can be green, yellow, or purple. They are crisp and sweet and can be used for fresh eating or canned. And it's also timed. Now, see, that was my timer for the All right, steaming. Um, so... Thank you. 
we're doing Heidi's green beans first. So, like Martha Stewart, I have my ingredients already measured out. Thank you, and I appreciate all my staff and uh, interns and you know, everybody I can put to work. That's what we did, right? So I have three tablespoons of olive oil. One and a half tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And you know, you know about oil and vinegar, not mixing. So uh, you need to go ahead and get that stirred up so it will. Um, a half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. A half clove of garlic. I love garlic. Probably too much. My uh, husband doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> and then we have a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. I know some of you likely have herb gardens. You can have your own. And then dried oregano. It usually has a vendor on Fridays that um, has some of the best, best. The heat, unfortunately, was not here today, so I regret I do not have the feta, but I'm a big fan of that tangy feta. You think I have a goat cheese? Mm -hmm. The white thing? Yes, yes. If you're using fresh herbs, how do you That's an excellent question. If you're using fresh herbs, they're not going to be as pungent as the dried, so I would use twice as many. Are you, do you use fresh herbs in yours? I do. What would you use? Well, I don't know. That. Oh, I would use twice as much because uh, the dried, like I said, is more condensed. Um, so I am just pouring that into the smaller bowl so I can put half my green beans in here now. I've read that you use three times as much, but three I'm, not, times? I'm not an expert on that. I get the ball from twist. Pardon me. Taste. Taste. Some people like it stronger than others. Oh, they're getting more popular now. Um, but I just built a house two years ago. 
ago, and when we were picking out our appliances, there were maybe only two or three, but now there's, you know, when you go to pick out your appliances, there will be more to choose. And the reason I ask, there are more expensive, but I have a glass top stove and I can't can on it. Mm -hmm. So my husband and I were talking about getting something similar to that. You know. I, I, I would do a commercial if I was allowed for them because um, boiling water, you saw, it just heats up so much faster. So, um, and in your recipe, it talks about uh, sautéing these onions, uh, and I chose a red onion because I like red onions. I have nothing against sweet onions or yellow onions, but uh, red onions are probably my favorite. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you want to open the door, people start flooding in here by the samples. <laughs> and, uh, no, we might say, sorry, you didn't <laughs> sit through the whole debacle of the first 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, so we are... I don't want to put these down like caramelized, but you just want them to be uh, softer. And then we're going to add our beans that have already been um, steamed. And maybe, you know, these were steamed a little bit, so this will help <laughs> do the, uh, yes. It's all, we say we'll see a lot in my house. We'll see. We'll give it the we'll see. I do like that. All right, so we're adding our beans. You wouldn't believe how, you know. Are those beans cooked? They're steamed? Did you come in late? I did come in late. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the smell of garlic that brought you in? Well, now they're going to cook more. Yes, right. now they're going to do it more. Right. In the oil, and um, you had a little electrical problem earlier. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, see, it's not me. All right, and now I'm going to um, salt and pepper because salt and pepper is king a little bit here. We're gonna, and then you can salt and pepper again if you choose to. That pepper's not really coming out. All right, and I'm on the lid, and I'm gonna time for three minutes because I have no shame in using a timer. Did you do the chicken um, broth that I just missed? It? And that is why I go. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Chicken broth. No, no, I encourage crowd participation. <laughs> Nine forty-seven. That next step. Nine forty-seven. Yes, people that watch the clock. I admire that. That is not a skill I have. So I have a timer close by, and no shame with that. So. Um, we have added the beans, chicken broth, and salt and pepper, and we're going to cook for three minutes, and then we're going to add uh, the cherry tomatoes um, and vinegar. Now, if you'll notice, the recipe calls for caramel balsamic vinegar. It, it's a little pricier. So what I'm doing is using regular balsamic, and I'm going to add a little brown sugar, which is noted, you know, on here. And then we're going to grate our own Parmesan because that is another, I get a, a block, I, I prefer block cheese whenever possible um, because pre-shredded always has cellulose or some kind of anti-picking ingredient. And I just, it's a preference um, not to, you know, use that. Um, and I think when it's, when, when, uh, it's grated, it's a fresher, it tastes better. So. Uh, I mentioned earlier that Green Beans is part of the Farmer's Market Fresh program, which will kick off July 1st. We have a program assistant, Kelly Pike, who will be doing that program. She'll be fantastic and will likely do peaches. Um, but part of the Farmer's Market Fresh program is a children's challenge card. So when you go by the booth, you can get a sample of whatever fruit or vegetable she's featuring that week, as well as if you have a young person in your life, challenge them to take this card home and so if, there, if it was green beans for the week they have their adult check off that it was purchased check off that it was tasted and check off that they prepared it so you know this is kind of an idea to get kids to taste foods and to help in the kitchen prepare things so um just to watch a picture that's still okay so uh, you bring this card back to the Farmer's Market Fresh booth and they have prizes for the kids there. So it's a fun little activity to keep kids active in our local Farmer's Market. Now I understand on Fridays we're doing both sides now too. 
right because it is getting uh, bigger and better and I am happy for Farmers Market Fresh to be a part of that. As far as the Family Consumer Sciences uh, agents in the county, we have fantastic ag agents, but the FCS agents have a heart definitely for getting people back in the kitchen again and learning about how to select fresh fruits and vegetables, how to prepare them at home, as well as uh, preserving them, which I will get to in just a moment also. So, y'all stay on top of it, help me. So now our, uh, this says cooked for three more minutes, cover. Um, Thanks, see that really helps. You know what, even at home, sometimes I'll have my husband or my, my daughters read step by step to keep me, uh, you know, so I can not be looking back and forth. So I'm adding the so cherry tomatoes. Put those tomatoes in four. I have to. They were cherry tomatoes and I had already cut them in half. I prepped you them. them. I have, yes, yes I did. So, you know, my staff did that earlier. And a tablespoon of vinegar. And then the brown sugar, which everybody's gonna love. If you haven't discovered balsamic vinegar, your life is not complete. So <laughs> work on that. I use it a lot on dressings. And I'm using about a half of a tablespoon of uh, brown sugar. Well, I should take a picture and vinegar is reduced to just a salt pepper. I think I'm going to take a picture of this and post it to Facebook later.
prefer for fresh and local. Um, however, like I said, just eat fruits and vegetables. Just eat fruits and vegetables, people, please. Um, now, I did give you a couple other flashy handouts. This one is how to cook fresh green beans. This would be an excellent one to share uh, if you already have some more cooking skills, but this breaks it down to basics for people cooking fresh green beans. There's the boil method, microwave, steam, and saute, which we use steam today for our two recipes. Uh, microwave, like I said, I have no shame using the microwave. That's pretty quick and easy. And then I also have the information from the National Center for Home Food Preservation. And that is what extension agents use to find the most update, updated research-based information and safe recipes for canning and freezing and drying. It is the National Center for Home Food Preservation. So I have those up here if you'd like copies. If you plan on canning green beans, use a dial gauge canner. Um, if you plan on freezing, which a lot more people freeze now than they do can, but uh, if you're gonna can, come Friday and we're canning tomatoes, tomatoes are green beans, are the key, and they are the most popular things to can. I thank you all for coming. I welcome you to stay to do dishes. Yeah.